A mother whose young daughter was fighting for her life says a charity that promised to help only added to their grief. They turned to NBC4 Responds for help, and Randy Mack has their story. Two years ago, Adrena Alvarez was diagnosed with stage 4 kidney cancer. She had her first surgery that next two days later, and from there it was upside down, our world. You know, you hear cancer, and it's like, well, are they going to die? Adrena's mom, Raylene, took time off work to be with Adrena during her treatment and hospital stays. Financially, it wasn't easy. It's kind of like, how are we going to live? How am I going to pay for rent? How am I going to pay my car payment? And, you know, give her the life that she deserves. Raylene found a community of supporters and donors on Instagram. She says nonprofits chipped in to help pay the family's bills. There was quite a few things that did happen that brought in money and we were able to keep our place in our car. But Raylene says one nonprofit, Pennsylvania-based Beautiful Faces Foundation, caused her family nothing but stress. She says the nonprofit awarded the family a grant promising a month's rent and car payment. And that was a year ago. It's rough worrying about one thing that turns your life upside down. And then you're worrying about a foundation who says they're going to help you out and said they're putting you under more stress and in a spot you can't get out of. Like falling behind on rent. Beautiful Faces didn't make the promised $1,100 rent payment, money the family desperately needed. They lost their home. He said he was tired of having to wait for his rent. Beautiful Faces eventually made the car payment. We tried to track down Beautiful Faces Foundation, but we didn't have much luck. Its address led us to a UPS store, a dead end, and emails with the woman running the nonprofit were dead ends as well. For weeks, she told us she'd pay Raylene the promised money, but she didn't follow through. No one should be taken advantage of on purpose or inadvertently. Los Angeles City Attorney Mike Fuhr knows nonprofits well. He used to run one. He says Raylene should file a complaint with the Attorney General. They have duties and responsibilities to them, and they need to make good on those responsibilities. Beautiful Faces stopped responding to our emails and recently paid Raylene $300, $800 short of its promise. Money Raylene doesn't expect to see. They don't have it. Clearly, they don't have it. But I don't want this to happen to anybody else. We do have some good news. Adrena's in remission. Doctors say that she currently has an 80% chance of remaining cancer free. Now, if you do have a problem with the nonprofit, you need to file a complaint with the Attorney General's office. That's the office that oversees charities in the state of California. And as always, if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, I've got your back. Just go to NBCLA.com Randy and fill out our form.